girls. I am here with a little mouse friend. This is Lily, and she has a story to tell about one of her first times going to school with a purple plastic purse. So I hope you enjoy the story. It's called Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. All right, Lily, you ready to read? Oh, she is. All right, we're going to set her down. Come on, sweetie. Let's see if she can sit here with us while we read. Lily loved school. She loved the pointy pencils. She loved the squish, squeaky chalk. And she loved the way her boots went clickety, clickety, click down the long, shiny hallways. Lily loved the privacy of her very own desk. She loved the fish sticks and chocolate milk every Friday in the lunchroom. And most of all, she loved her teacher, Mr. Slinger. Is that true? Did you like him? She says she does. She's a good little mouse. Mr. Slinger was as sharp as a tack. He wore artistic shirts. He wore glasses on a chain around his neck, and he wore a different colored tie for each day of the week. Wow, said Lily. That was just about all she could say. Wow. Instead of greeting students or good saying good morning pupils, Mr. Sing Slinger winked and said, Howdy. He thought that desks and rows were old fashioned and boring. Do you rodents think you can handle a semicircle? And he always provided the most tasty snacks of things such as curly and crunchy and cheesies. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Me too, said her friends, Chester and Wilson and Victor. How fun. At home, Lily pretended to be Mr. Slinger. I am the teacher, she told her baby brother, Julius. Listen up. Lily even wanted her own set of deluxe picture encyclopedias. What's with Lily, asked her mother. I thought she wanted to be a surgeon or an ambulance driver or a diva, said her father. It must be because of her new teacher, Mr. Slinger, said her mother. Wow, said her father. That was just about all he could say. Wow. Whenever the students had free time, they were permitted to go to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. They expressed their ideas creatively through drawings and writing. Lily went often. She had a lot of ideas. She drew pictures of Mr. Slinger, and she wrote stories about him, too. During Sherry Sharing time, Lily showed her creations to the entire class. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say was wow. In her picture right here, she did a nice job. She said, big, friendly, Mr. Nice Man teacher. And she drew a picture of him. When Mr. Slinger had a bus duty, Lily stood in line, even though she didn't ride the bus. Lily raised her hand more than anyone else in class, even if she didn't know the answer. And she volunteered to stay after school to clap and clean erasers. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. One Monday morning, Lily came to school especially happy. She had gone shopping with her Grammy over the weekend. Lily had a new pair of movie star sunglasses, complete with glittery diamonds and a chain like Mr. Slinger. She had three shiny quarters, and best of all, she had her brand new purple plastic purse that played a jaunty tune when she opened it. I bet she was really excited. Lily wanted to show everyone. Now, now, said Mr. Slinger, 
listen to our story. Lily had a hard time listening. Lily really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Let's be considerate of our classmates. Lily had a hard time being considerate. Lily really, really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Wait until recess or sharing time. But Lily could not wait. Lily, you couldn't wait? You learned, though, didn't you? Let's find out what happened. The glasses were so glittery, the quarters were so shiny, and the purse played such nice music, not to mention how excellent it was for storing her school supplies. Look, Lily whispered fiercely. Look, everyone, look what I've got. Everybody looked, including Mr. Slinger. He was not amused. What does that mean? He was not amused. Yeah, he was not happy because he was trying to teach. I'll just keep those things at my desk until the end of the day, he said. Mr. Slinger, they'll be safe there and then you can take them home. <gasps> Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. Her glasses were gone. Her quarters were gone. Her purple plastic purse was gone. Lily longed for her pur purse all morning. She was even too sad to eat the snack. Mr. Slinger served before recess. That afternoon, went to, when Lily went to the light bulb lab, she was still sad. She thought and thought and she thought. And then she became angry. She thought and she thought and she thought some more. And then she became furious. She thought and she thought and she thought a little bit longer. And then she drew a picture of Mr. Slinger. If she was really, really mad, Miss Lily, were you really, really mad? Do you think she drew a nice picture of Mr. Slinger or a not very nice picture? Oh, let's look at that. So not very nice picture. It says big, fat, mean, Mr. Stealing Teacher. Claws, bad, wanted by FBI, thief. I do not want to be a teacher when I grew up. Right before the last bell rang, Lily sneaked the drawing into Mr. Slinger's book bag. <gasps> she gave it to the teacher. I could hurt his feelings. When all the students were buttoned and zipped and snapped and tied and ready to go home, Mr. String Slinger strolled over to Lily and gave her purple plastic purse back. It's a beautiful purse, said Mr. Slinger. Your quarters are nice and jingly, and those glasses are absolutely fabulous. You may bring them back to school as long as you don't disturb the rest of the class. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up. Lily said, and she marched out of the room. That wasn't very nice. On the way home, Lily opened her purse. Her glasses and quarters were inside, and so was a note from Mr. Slinger. It said, today was a difficult day. Tomorrow will be better. There was also a small bag of tasty snacks at the bottom of the purse. Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. She felt simply awful. Lily ran all the way home and told her mother and father everything. Instead of watching her favorite cartoons, Lily decided to sit in the uncooperative chair. I'll stay here a million years for Mr. Slinger. Look, she's crying. Why does everything always happen to me? 1,051, 1,052, she's counting. That night, Lily drew a picture of Mr. Slinger and wrote a story about him. Lily was really, really sorry. So everyone forgave her, even her parents, even her stinky baby brother, even her especially incredible teacher. And then the sun shined its smiley face down on everyone and everything, even the bugs and the worms. The end. And then she drew a new picture. It says, listen up, I forgive. I am really, 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 really sorry. Could be principal, kind, good, nice. 
Lily's mother wrote a note, and Lily's father baked some tasty snacks for Lily to take to school the next day. I think Mr. Slinger will understand, said Lily's mother. I know he will, said Lily's father. The next morning, Lily got to school early. These are for you, Lily said to Mr. Slinger, because I'm really, 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 really sorry. Aww. Mr. Slinger read the story, and he looked at the picture, and he read the note, and he sampled the snacks. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. What do you think we should do with these? asked Mr. Slinger. Could we just throw it away? asked Lily. Excellent idea. Look, they're going to throw away the naughty picture. It's like having an extra pocket with a radio. Three quarters are even better than a dollar. Bill, because they make noise. Glamorous protection from harmful rays. She's got all of her stuff out. During sharing time, Lily demonstrated the many uses and unique qualities of her purple plastic purse, her shiny quarters, and her glittery movie star sunglasses. Then she did a performance using the prompts. props. It's called interpretive dance, said Lily. Mr. Slinger joined in. Wow, said the entire class. That was just about all they could say was wow. Throughout the rest of the, rest of the day, Lily's purse, quarters, and sunglasses were tucked safely inside her desk. She peeked at them often, but did not disturb a soul. Right before the last bell rang, Mr. Slinger served Lily's snacks to everyone's delight. What do you want to be when you grow up? asked Mr. Slinger. A teacher. Everyone responded. Lily's response was the loudest. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. As the pupils filed out of the classroom, Lily held her purple plastic purse close to her heart. Mr. Slinger was right. It had been a better day. Lily ran and skipped and hopped and flew all the way home and was so happy. And she really did want to be a teacher when she grew up. That is, she didn't want to be a dancer, or if she didn't want to be a surgeon, or an ambulance driver, or a diva, or a pilot, or a hairdresser, or a scuba drive diver. She has lots of things she would like to do. So, very cute, very nice story. Thank you for sharing with us. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. You'll get to see Lily soon. Bye.